Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a video here on Wednesday. It's an MCN, a collection of Marvel Contest of Champions rated stories, information and things that you should look out for. Do bear in mind, it is the launch of Necropolis today. I might try and squeeze in a live stream. I do want to do a side quest week two guide, uh, but uh, later on in the evening I might be doing... I might be doing that. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to achieve. Um, on good news, though, um, and also I wasn't really enjoying the meta of, of Battleground season this season. Uh, the seasons for following seasons seem to be better, except for 13 seems to be copy-paste from, to a degree. Uh, Science Champions seem to be the big thing. Science Champions, a big thing this month. Titania, great champion, really effective. Well, guess what? Brush off those science-based champions because they're going to be important for uh, going against Battleground Season 13. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, and there's also Alliance Wars information update. Link is in the description for that. Two new uh, uh, defense tactics, which is Crush. So we've got Crush 2.0 2 and 2.03. Crush defenders gain a bar of power. They inflict two separate 15% potency uh, daunted, daunted passives for 25 seconds. Max stacks 12 while attackers suffer from two or more daunted effects. During the defender's special attack, they are passively rooted. Root of attackers cannot evade. Crush defender's special attacks have 20% chance per daunted effect on the attacker if to be passively unblockable so yeah and then of course there's going to be uh counters to that with uh sturdy so sturdy champions so crush defenders are listed there uh and also coming soon which i can imagine is probably onslaught to be to coming soon possibly and there's two other coming soon ones so whether or not they're going to be the january champions one is going to be the january champion whether or not sturdy champion is onslaught and also crush defenders we don't know we don't really know i don't want to hazard a guess with that but you can see the list of champions go and check that out in the link in the description down below okay now it's time to go on to necropolis as we said necropolis is the new kind of abyss level piece of content that's releasing today exciting times it releases after the live stream which i can't remember if the live stream is uh is very early on in the day it is yeah, it's 4 p.m. UK time, 9 a.m. PT. No, actually, it's 5 p.m. Sorry, we daylight saving times has shift, shifted, so it's 5 p.m. UK time um, or 9 a.m. PT. Always very interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's about. As I've said before, a lot of people seem to be very wrapped up in ranking up champions before Necropolis. I would say try out the content, plan your paths, look at the champions on the route, and just don't go with... Oh, that's fine. I can just kind of use a champion to kind of like, you know, effectively steamroll through all of it because you've got slots for other champions. You might be like myself going like, do you know what? I'd really like the idea of using something like King Groot throughout it. Or I'd like the idea of using a uh, rank five uh, ascended overseer, something completely out of the realms of ridiculous, but not necessarily completely wiped off the face of the planet as a, as a thing. A lot of people saying about Baron Zemo. But as I said, you know, you've got to really see the content first to go, is this going to be a right rank up choice for this path? These traps as well, are they going to be very potent and important to uh, to setting up uh, for these things? Is it going to feel like a bit of a, a cash grab from Kabam? Maybe. Uh, we'll have to see. But hype level. Interesting to kind of note like where people are up to with this one. 158 votes on this particular threat, this this kind of poll right here. So 11% say it's 10 out of 10 cream in their pants on level of uh, of hype level. That's sad. That's uh, that's a little bit sad. I think you know when you're kind of like, oh, you know, this is again, you know, it's just a video game, guys. It's, it's really. I mean, look, for some people, MCC is love. MCC is life. Um, yeah, don't search um, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. You know, the OGs of the internet will know that. Uh, 8 to 9 out of 10, super excited, 15%. Uh, happy but only for rewards, 25%. That's a sad state of affairs. Uh, and even sadder because it's like, uh, I'll watch others do it. Um, I think that's where people are at. Uh, and then it's like, uh, then right at the bottom here, we've got, I hate long form content. I'm not a massive fan of long form content myself just because I find it boring. Uh, I do think that with the uh, the inclusion of 
more interesting story mode fights it means that the mode that that mode has been saved it's now more interesting it's now very um you know quick it's efficient to do and i think it's got the hallmarks of being you know one it's definitely one of my favorite favorite modes because it's like these boss fights are actually fun and there's not much fun in certain areas of the game but as a lot of us know, well, I think a lot of us are kind of done in the same kind of boat going, I'm happy, but only for rewards. Uh, and I think for me, I'm going to be saving up a lot of units in the new year to do it. Um, my plan is 100% Necropolis in 2024, which people will be like, oh, no, you should be kind of like doing it now. I don't have to do anything now. Um, I don't have to do everything, apparently. But uh, maybe it's a case like Chase Rewards would be interesting. Uh, maybe it's a case like I'll have to see see what it is. Like, that's the thing, like... I'm, we've got to experience it go in have a go see if it's going to be good enough for you and that's the thing as well we only know the right champions the right configurations and whether or not something's actually going to be fun by trying it so that's what we'll do later on we'll have a bit of a go see if it's uh see if it's fun or it's interesting or it's um you know or about uh or about or about or about um all about uh setting up uh the right team for the job sticking with streaming and the necropolis live stream is going to have a hundred thousand unit giveaway so that's going to be incredibly exciting make sure to go over to the live stream and get involved with it and uh you know i think this is like kabam uh, mike actually came up with the idea of uh of doing doing that I, i'm pretty certain he, they said about that it was his idea to kind of uh do a which look Units, interesting. Free, yes. Give out me, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, will I be entering? Yes, because I don't spend on the game. So it's like anything to kind of like get 10k units. That would be great, especially running up to things like Cyber Weekend, which requires a lot of units. And I have frantically got to get uh, 1,000. No, it's more. Is it 2,000? No, yeah, it is. It's 2,000. I've got to get 2,400 units in a very short space of time. Oh, my word. Um, I'm going to be live streaming that grind because now I've done Battlegrounds for a little while. I'm going to have to get my motor going with uh, with that. Yay, 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 yay. So much to do. So little time. Stress, stress, stress. Uh, but, yeah, like, uh, look out for that. 10K units uh, increments per time. Good luck to anybody in that stream. <laughs> Wish you well. Okay, now let's move on to the Prime Gaming issues. So, a lot of you that have the Prime Gaming, we covered this yesterday, no, yesterday, Monday, and the process of collecting uh, has become a bit of an issue. Some people are experiencing some problems. I would recommend going to a uh, like PC, doing it on a PC uh, or laptop, whatever you've got means to do it, because I just think that that's, that's working fine. We displayed that on uh, Monday, in Monday's video, but I've seen plenty of people try to claim off of, off of it, and it's just not coming to the correct screen to give out a QR code, or at least kind of goes and works with the in-game uh, message side of things. Uh, so uh, someone says here, so it doesn't work using my Android phone, but did work using my iPad. So that may be a, a maybe a Google Play Store issue. I cannot claim either QR code launches the, the Google Play Store instead of the game. Interesting. After the redeem in game button open the Apple uh, Apple App Store for me. Scan the QR code from the screen. Open the game itself and I receive the rewards. So since Amazon Prime account is under, oh, I on. Um, yeah, by the way, you can actually shift, like M went through the process. If you've seen my video yesterday, um, people would have like, no, uh, Monday, they would have seen that how this is kind of like uh, actioned uh, with it. Um, how many of my items in game, even the page says it's claimed? Weird. I would say raise a ticket with kabam on it. Um, up, oh, so hang on, update here iOS users cannot use Amazon app or any browser besides Safari. Open Safari, log into Amazon, then claim it. That gives you a bit of a advice uh, um, to that. Um, clicking on the link on the MC, MCSE news page. That's my, that's me. No, it's not. Um, yeah, so some people have had issues with this, some not. As I said, try and, um, you know, upload it. Uh, but as well, eligibility, as someone's saying here. So since the Amazon Prime account is under, oh hang on, uh, eligibility. Anyway, well, I think we've covered that in any case. Yeah, I've seen some people like have have here that this on An Android you can change your default browser in settings and app default. So you've got to change. Your I tried swapping out my browser and it still wasn't getting it. Oh, even though it shows, I already collected it. Quite infuriating. 
Yeah. Um, I would. I'd raise a ticket if you if you're having issues with it not appearing. I would raise a ticket. But DNA three thousand has uh, info. Uh, just to summarize some of the questions and issues people have been having. Does the Amazon Prime account have to be linked to your MCOC account and have the same? Uh, if your iPhone iOS safest browser uses Safari, if you have another browser and you default change, yeah, make sure. To, I'd say Chrome. If you attempt to claim it, don't receive the offer in your game. Go back to Amazon Prime and check to see if the offer is collected. If you do not see collected status of the offer, something went wrong and you should try to claim it. Even if it says it's collected, you were using a different browser than the one listed above. Try to change your browser back to use the redeem link again. Uh, it may work to grant uh, an offer to Amazon Prime. It says it's already collected. If the internet above work, support ticket. Um, with that, I have seen some issues with it um because uh and then it's uh, krog says if you have the amazon app on your phone don't use it on android i finally wised up and went through chrome and it worked fine so that's kind of, as i said for me i use chrome um you know desktop wise and it, and it worked fine and we end with this battlegrounds uh season is coming to an end uh thankfully because i'd reached the end of my tether with it i really have um, so that's you know I'm, I'm I'm really happy that it is indeed uh, come to uh, come to an end and look cheaters wise I'm sure a lot of people have seen cheaters like whether or not you kind of look at a situation like this and you're like okay well did this person cheat maybe yes maybe no don't know uh, you've got to, I think at this stage we've got to rely on Kabam to deal with these particular people. Uh, when it comes to the uh, the wipe, so Kabam did a big ban wave about when was it? Two weeks ago, a week ago, two weeks ago, whenever it was, and they normally do it in a kind of like halfway through the battleground season, and they do it right at the end. So I would say if you're kind of expecting yourself to be like I don't know the fifth thousand person, uh, two thousand two hundredth person. 15,000th person in the battlegrounds world when it comes to a rank you probably will be upgraded further once these people have been banned because there are cheaters out there there's people that um are still out there but do bear in mind like they're either back after a seven day ban they're either back after a certain uh, time period or they're back uh, or they're in with a new account to uh, to be an absolute pest and a frustration uh, to uh, to all of our arrears. So yeah, interesting. So um, uh, G2DK says ran into a few cheaters in battle um, in Celestial this past weekend. It is just going to happen, and is what it is. Report and move on. Yes, because you will be updated. The number of these have reported is just ridiculous at this point. Sad state these days. True. Um, I'll start giving credit where credit's due. It appears to, to be doing their best, the best to, to the cheaters. Now that said, I have to believe they have the data to say, okay, player X was modding, he's banned. Then go back and look at the other person uh, that fought and refund the energy or elder marks. Yeah, I agree. Like this is something that should be here. Um, I should have been here for like uh, since this game mode was conceived. It was like it's been a year. There's a lot of stuff. So like you know. I've errored out of matches and and lost them, and it's just been like, oh, what what is this this mode? The AI is terrible at the moment. I don't if it has been buffed, I don't see it. I, I don't see it improved. I haven't seen it. it. It's it's just it's not it's not good enough. Champions are holding on to special attacks, like they're holding on to SP twos, and I'm there going, yeah, well, look, there's time here. Like I can finish in good conditions. But at the same time, if this is 100 versus 100%, they're going to win because they they don't have a champion. They're going off against an RNG factor that is, they're throwing special attacks. My defender that I'm going up to fight is not throwing any special attacks. Got time here. You know, these SP2s are taking time. Good conditions is good conditions. But as, as well, there's still some margin of error for that particular, um, you know, quicker to defeat the enemy. And it's just, it just feels a bit crappy really at times when it comes to that but in any case we hope the kabam you know do their bit when it comes to battlegrounds improving it as they go 
And Kabam Jack says we ban uh, for cheating in Battlegrounds very frequently. The post about the massive ban wave uh, was to showcase a massive wave that happened elsewhere. It wasn't in place um, for Battlegrounds banning. So I expect to see if that's the case, then Jax is saying to us that we will expect to see and I'll be annoyed. And I think a lot of players will be annoyed as well if there's no ban wave on Thursday or Friday. That is when I'm expecting to see a sweep uh, for it. But um, we'll have to see. Don't hold your breath. It better happen, though. In any case, that has been the show. I would do uh, arena predictions, but there's nothing really at the moment. No information from Kabam, and we'll probably cover that on Friday. So thank you very much for watching this video. Probably look out for some live streams towards the latter part of the week, doing a little bit of, like, you know, just chill grind. Um, we'll kind of talk about a few topic-based videos. I'm a bit burnt out when it comes to the Battlegrounds grinding, to be honest. Uh, in such a short space of time but um hey we move on thank you very much for watching this video and check out some other content which will be located on the screen right now have a lovely day bye bye